Hey there, it's BitB, and welcome out to another BitB stream. Thanks for coming out. It is currently Sunday. I see you guys talking over in the chat. <laughs> Garrett misspelled uh, Kippy's name, and it's K Kapoi. <laughs> when I first read that, I thought it said, like, Kapotle. And I'm like, is that a new burrito shop? I'm very confused. <laughs> Branch off of Chipotle? Anyways, yeah, we're playing Spirit Fair today. That should be nice and gentle. Should be exciting, question mark? I don't know. I don't play that game to be excited. I, I play for all of the wholesome and the hugs. <laughs> Kipotle, exactly. Kipotle looks like a Hawaiian word, says Kippy. Hmm, perhaps. I've been playing a lot of uh, Super Mario Sunshine as of late, so like, maybe. Hmm, does that fit? I don't know. Okay, I uh, don't really remember what we left off on. Oh, it looks like we're getting a helpful little exclamation point. So I hope all you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty decent myself. Give me a moment. I'm going to lower the volume of the game just slightly. And also raise my microphone up to my face. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Capote. Now, now my restaurant. Howdy, Pink. How you doing? Oh. Right, you're here. Ah! Drowning! Howdy there. Um, what do you have to buy? Ooh, oh, bunch of odd seeds. Um, I'll take your entire stock. Something new. Oh, do you have something new? Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Oh, yeah, what, what, what is the errand? Oh, oh, right, of course. Um, so I can turn in some of my stuff, and I can get some extra- Oh, I can get some TC. I'm gonna go for that. Anything that- Oh, I can do this. And I can get Citrine or whatever that is. I wonder if that's growable. Epe is here. Hello, how's it going? Some of these are- do Ooh! And I can get a, a treasure map. Excuse me. What? Yes, please. Treasure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ah! Oh, wow. What do you have to say? You found your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside. You'll find coordinates for some treasure. Well, then why the hell are you giving it to me? <laughs> it's probably a bum treasure. It's like, yeah, I don't need it. I live off the souls of the living. What? Citrine is a court. Can you grow crystals in the game? Uh, yeah, there's that, that uh, turtle character that comes around every now and then. And I might be able to take some of that and stuff it onto them. Where's Gwen? I, I, yeah, exactly. I don't know where they are. <laughs> uh, now, I was trying to make this Kermit the Frog, but it's solely been going from Kermit the Frog to... Yeah, I But I haven't seen her in a while. Do you think she ran away? Maybe back to her parents' house? I don't know. I'm very confused and scared. And I don't... They, they went away and I'm... Oh, hello, Summer. Sorry, I completely forgot about your name in the previous stream I did. Aww. Hug, Snick. Top volume Kermit. <laughs> Skippy. Pretty much. Kermit the Blue Frog. And uh, for those people who don't know... <laughs> I, I use a filter on this person because I am... I initially, um, learned of this, you know, dainty lioness of some sort, um, by, like, finding her protesting out in the middle of a place. Unfortunately, she has nothing to talk about right now. <laughs> he is, like, the protest lion who always talks... Oh. Like, like this. this. For no reason. Right! I got this, um... Yeah, I got this sheep pen here. Alright, I'm, I'm sure that'll go somewhere. And I've been upgrading everybody's stuff. Look at it. Look how happy thou art. Okay. Uh, I certainly hope that I left everybody relatively happy for a good portion of this, uh, like, of last stream. Just so that I don't have to worry about it personally. Okay. Let's see, is that ore that I set up previously, is that done yet? Ooh, it appears it is. Okay. Then allow me to go to the teleport 
area, so we can go and uh, get that, and then I can start growing some more crystals. Citrine or citrine? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> Kippy says, I love her. Oh, yeah. S S Summer's a good snick. Good snick. <laughs> Kiara says, Thou the the how Scarborough, and he offered and he laughed. Excuse me. <laughs> Pink says, The snake's a girl? I assume the snake's a girl. People have told me that like, the snake's a girl. I can't tell. I, I'm making the assumption. Kara says, what the fuck did I just say? I don't know what you just said. Did you slam your head in the keyboard? That's not healthy. <sighs> ah, yes, and I opened up this thing uh, the other day. And I started making myself some ingots and stuff. Yeah. Look at the happy seal, boy! <laughs> the freaking trumpet. Uh, okay, right. Honk, honk, like, goddamn. I love it. Alright, let's take a trip up here, and let's actually, like, physically sail out to our destination. Hey, why, dear? I hope you're having a good day. Yes, let's see Olga, because apparently the stuff I had previously planted on Olga is now done. Pink says, that looked interesting. What did the seal do? I have no clue. <laughs> Magical seal powers. Teleported us to a new location on the map. Or, you know, a different one. So that I don't have to spend a, an eternity trying to sa uh, sail back. Pink says, I said did. Yeah, I, I, I kind of corrected it so it's like grammatically proper. I don't know. Uh, unless that was wrong. It is now time for seal. That looked interesting what the seal did. It certainly... Uh... Jump in the water. Technically I could, but the ship will actually stop. So it's not like it's going to do anything. Hello! How are you? Right, here's all my previous stuff that I left. Whew! Oh yeah, I left some coal because I wasn't sure whether or not I would uh, need any more... ...tons of coal. Well, now I got some new ores to grow. All right, let's go, let's go. What do we got? Um, can I... No, it doesn't look like I can grow that crystal. But that... That makes sense that I could grow that crystal. Apparently not. Never mind, then. Oh, oh, right. I grew slate because I was like, hmm, running a little low on slate. How about instead, I go ahead and uh, grow a little bit of coal since I used a bunch on that project. Yes. Then what do I want over here? Ooh. Kind of low on copper. Although, I don't know how many ingots I have. That, you know, screw it. I've already made my decision. Yep. All done. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Turtle Queen. <laughs> how you doing? Everybody is uh, fed. This is very nice. Ah, he's going off, playing the tunes. Now, if you guys have not seen the uh, the trailer that was recently posted by Pink over in the uh, yeah, the, just the bit B main chat, I would definitely recommend. Like, if you don't know what this game is, uh, that trailer pretty much explains it in a nutshell. Adorableness and a lot of uh, visiting with people who are spirits. And then, you know, having the spirit move on. I worry, because nobody has moved on just yet. I, I think. 
Again, Gwen just seems to have up and disappeared, and I'm a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> After I said the cat just nyooming past on the bottom was cute. I agree. This game does a heck of a lot of cute things. Aww. I guess I should give a little bit of an update. So, um... Oh, my cat Tommy, who's currently dealing with some issues involving with key, li uh, key limes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's taking care of that one. Never mind. Um, no, my, my, the cat's currently dealing with uh, feline diabetes, and it really, really sucks. But um, he has good days. He has bad days. Uh, we're currently just trying to do glu like you know, blood glucose uh, level testing just to see what he needs and. You know what he doesn't need just making sure he's getting the proper amount of uh the, the proper amount of everything that he needs Damn it. there we go we're getting readings uh, eventually we're going to have like a, a full decent idea of what he needs and when, when we finally figure that out uh it's going to be a lot smoother well sailing waka waka we're sailing sail boat Thank you, sir. But again, he has an up days, down days. It kind of depends. I don't know. It's sad. Sailboat. Sealboat. <laughs> Says Wide Deer. Overall, I think he's having a lot better days. Uh, I noticed that he has gained a heck of a lot of... Well, you know, he, he's not, like, ridiculously chubby now. But he has gotten a whole bunch of body weight back, and that is a huge important thing. Like, Because he was starting to get really stick-like, and that is not good. You know, surprise, surprise. But again, he's got a little bit more heft on him now, and that, that that's good. Good kitty. And hopefully once he's finally on, like, um, a very reasonable diet, because he's currently on the diet... But uh, when he's on the diet in a consistent way and he's getting the uh, proper insulin, he's going to be doing a heck of a lot better. <laughs> According to what my mom told me, apparently, um, like, the, the other day he actually went and attacked one of the other cats. And I'm just like, yeah, good boy. <laughs> and that sounds bad on the surface, but I'm like, oh, that means he's got a little bit of energy. And he's grumpy, so he's like, you know... In a little way, that means he's not completely lethargic. He got that sass. A little bit. Not a ton. He, he tends to be a pretty good cat. But again, I don't, I don't blame him. He's been through some really tough shit. So if he's a little bit ornery... I mean, on top of that, he's, he's kind of an old cat. He's been around the block. My family's had him um, within our circles ever since, like, I was in middle school. And, again, I dropped the hint of how old I am. I don't want to give the exact number, but, you know, just because of privacy reasons, and I'm always paranoid about that kind of information floating around on the internet somewhere. But, like, to give you an idea, I'm within a similar range to what Jacksepticeye is. So, there you go. There's your barometer. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll, that'll probably give you a good idea of just, like, how old this cat is. But good lord, he's a good boy. And also, on top of this, um, I have heard that, I guess... That, now, there's some other childhood cats that I remember having, and again, those live at uh, my parents' place. Um, you've probably seen a couple of pictures of them o like, over the course of time, and... They're all starting to get particularly old, so it looks like everyone needs to be moved over to a hypoallergenic diet. And if anybody knows anything about cats, you know that that is not a small chunk of change. Oh, excuse me, I need to sneeze. <coughs> mm, excuse me! Sorry, I sneezed a little bit earlier, and that rustled- that rattled everything in my head. Oh, but no, never, everybody's got some health issues, but they it's not that they're not fixable, and I'm very thankful of that. Oh. Uh. What is this? This thing's a fighter. What's going on? Oh, 
Oh, right, the soul. Th those things are pretty uh, hardy fish. Pink's talking about Balan Wonderworld. Uh, rail runner costume. I have not seen that just yet. I, pro I probably won't just because I'm trying to avoid anything Balan Wonderworld. Because, like, I kind of want to be surprised when I uh, finally get the ability to stream it and play it for myself. Oh, I know you're excited. No, no worries about that. I mean, it looks like an amazing freaking game, and I I'm looking forward to when it comes out and I can uh, dig my teeth into it myself. Ooh, Glim Bottle. Nice. Let me see. Aside from that, I got a couple of other random stories that have happened as of late. Uh, my dad just told me this. He went out to go and mow his lawn uh, not too long ago. A little earlier today. And um, while he was out there, he kept on catching a whiff of something. He's like, what the heck is that? It's like, hmm. I don't know. Is that runoff from somewhere? What, what, what was it? And he was concerned about the smell. Kept on like... You know, every, t every single time he passed by a specific area, it was just like, mm, no, that's awful. Um, he finally walked over to... Like, he followed the smell finally, because he's like, all right, this is ridiculous. What the heck is that? Um, walked over, and again, he here's a sad for anybody who, um, you know, likes living things. Uh, it was a deer. <laughs> the deer was not alive. Which is weird because, like, it, it it ended up being, like, in sort of the backwoodsy area of where his house is. Um, but the thing is, like, he's not too far away from a, uh, a main road, but it, he's not exactly directly next to it at the ex exact same time. And it was a ways into the woods. So the first thing that he immediately thought was, oh, no, it crawled. Ugh. And that makes me very sad. <laughs> Because so I'm like, oh, no. But the other thing I'm wondering is, like, who the heck hit this deer? And why the heck wasn't the, like, why didn't they call the authorities? Because, again, apparently, the first person that found it was my dad. So it's just like, what? So I guess somebody hit the deer with their truck or their car or whatever the heck, and... They just kept scooting along, which, honestly, I mean, I can understand why you would do that, but, ooh, same time. Maple Lee is currently eternally screaming. <laughs> oh, it happens, though. It, it's a shame that it happens, but it happens. Oop, damn it. Maple also posted something over in the chat. Let me see if I can grab it. Oh, it's adorable Among Us stuff. Cute. I'm not sure if that's a game that I would play on the stream, but I've been tempted to try and come up with a way for me to do that. The simplest solution would be Call a whole bunch of my personal favorite, uh, you know, my, my personal friends together and then have us all play Among Us together on the stream, but, ugh, I, I feel like that would get really heated and also people would get really pissed. Not you guys, but all of us. Kippy said, last time I hit a deer, I immediately pulled over and took a picture of the front of your car, mostly because insurance, because that sucker completely tin canned your front. Yeah, exactly! And here's the thing, like, did, did this car seriously just keep going? Or maybe they didn't keep going and they stopped, but, like, they didn't call about the deer? Hank says, why does this remind me of Among the Sleep? Or the novel series Among the Hidden. Are you talking, like, uh, this game? I don't, think, I, I don't think I've ever touched Among the Sleep. I recognize the name. I think somebody must have talked about Among the Sleep in the chat. Kippy says, no idea where to report a dead deer. Uh, I mean, like, police is not necessarily a bad, uh, 
idea for a place to call. I, I think there's some a very specific, distinct uh, uh, organization involved when it comes to stuff like that. I couldn't tell you exactly which one it would be. That sounds like an answer for dear old Google. Pink says, I mean the game Among Us. Oh, yeah. Ding dong, wake up, folks. Kippy says, the non-emergency line, I called for the police to report an accident, probably reported it. Yeah, very likely. Takes a while for tea to grow. How we all doing? Hello, sneaky snake. Oh, shit. Let's see, you're hungry. Oh, jeez, I really should, um, I need to collect a few more of those strawberries and cook them. Because, like, your favorite dessert is made out of that. Um, coffee? Oh, feck. Okay, then. Well, I know I have a bunch of popcorn. There you go. I already hugged you today, so. Or, I, I hugged you the other day. Hello! Let me give you, um, some simple... Oh, damn it, sorry. You can't give him the exact same thing twice. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we do. Uh, everybody likes coffee here, so. Hugs. Mm -hmm. All right. Where's everybody else? Where are they hanging out? I've given everybody like their own housing and their uh, their own places to stay, so it's like a little bit difficult to find everybody's little nooks. What the? Where did you go? Froggy boy! Uncle Frog! Are, are you? Oh, he's over here. Hi. Morning, Sprout! And this guy is a dumpster. I love him so much. He'll eat literally anything I give him. I don't think he actually has a favorite. There you go, friend. Ah. Too much sweet. Right, yeah, we're still sitting outside of a freaking garbage dump, essentially. Okay, yeah, time to get on the road. Where do I want to go? I've collected a bunch of resources, but do I want to collect more? Your new fee. So I'm wondering what these new areas are uh, good for. Big question. All right, so anyway, there's that. The nice thing is that the game continues to run even when I'm uh, clicked out of the window. I appreciate that. Very nice. Joyous day! Oh dear. <laughs> hey, buddy. Jesus. That reminds me, you got... Um, I seem to recall, I think it was Boba or somebody similar who posted... The, um, the harps, like the, the little baby harp seal videos, and uh, YouTube, YouTube's algorithm really likes to hand you those videos after you watch one of them, so I'm kind of, I'm currently drowning in them. Not that I'm complaining, because <laughs> they're freaking adorable. I can't help it. They're so cute. Hmm. So I got an interesting little update. Um, if you know anything about previous streams that I... Oh, oh, you're probably thinking about food, right? Pork chops! I don't have a pig. Ever heard of ribbon seals? Oh, God. You're probably going to explain to me what a ribbon seal is. Or show me what one is. Ta-da! Caro found this in recommendation. Oh, for God's... Wait a minute. Rolling hat kid. <laughs> I think I actually remember seeing something similar to that. I don't remember exactly what it... Ah. Uh, it's funny stuff. They're seals. It's just their fur looks like they have white rings on their bodies. I could see that, honestly. 
All right, that's one lump of stuff. Let's go over to these crates. Okay, I got a little bit of an update for something. Um, now, if you've been a part of my streams, you probably remember me discussing um, a nightmare job that I had quite a while ago. I call it a nightmare job because I, I honestly think that nobody should be working for these assholes. Again, some of you probably remember me referring to it. I had a chat with um, my friend who still works at that place, and <laughs> I pretty much determined that, yes, that place is still complete garbage. Oh. Oh. Flash nighttime. What? This is interesting. Was oh, this like a solar eclipse or something? Make a wish. I don't know how to make a wish. I don't think that's possible. Anywho, so, uh, again, um, yeah, the place still isn't good, but I heard an update about what they are currently changing on their end. So, uh, I, oh, so, uh, they are currently changing it so that, uh, the minimum wage that you start out with is much higher than what it originally was. Now, to be entirely fair, it's absolutely nowhere near an actual living minimum wage. Like, uh, nowhere near. I guarantee you. Um, I won't give you the exact numbers because, again, I don't want you to be looking up any minimum wage stuff involved with where I live. But uh, suffi suffice to say, it's several dollars underneath what the heck it is. Yeah, what like I would expect a livable minimum wage would even be. Even then, um, inflation has probably made it a little bit higher nowadays. Um, but yeah, they made this change, and my assumption is the reason that they did this is because uh, they're probably not bringing in enough people, or if they are bringing in people, they're not bringing in people that are uh, quality workers. So now they're scrambling, being like, oh, shit, well, we gotta bring people in here somehow. Oh, God, what do we do? And so, yeah, their, their decision was, okay, well, I guess we got no choice. Let's start the uh, the minimum amount of money to everybody. Let's, let's raise that a couple bucks. KB says a proper living wage for this country is like 22 at this point. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> businesses certainly don't want it to be that way. Because that would require them to actually spend money. But, uh, yeah, again, that's not going to happen. I'm talking like, you know, my minimum wage that I'm currently referring to is one where you could feasibly manage to scrape by just barely. Corporate oligarchy, indeed. Uh, but I can just tell you, it is absolutely nowhere near that $22 mark. In fact, um, I would say it's not exactly half of that, but it, it's it's close. But anyway, yeah, they made that change. And again, I assume it's probably not a good place to uh, try and work for, just sim simply because if they're raising their minimum wage prices at this point, like they were so against the idea of raising prices on stuff when I was there. So when... If they're raising it up for all of the new people that are coming in, I cannot imagine what kind of a hellscape it currently is. Um, but to make matters worse... Oh, a visitor. No, to make matters worse, uh, I had a chat with, again, guy that uh, has been working there for a long time. He knows basically everything about this place. Like, up, down, left, right. Like, just forward, backward. The whole shoot and match. Like, a major asset to the company, if you ask me. Because he's very knowledgeable about it. Um, and he, uh, so, yeah, again, the people that were just starting out are getting a different wage, and then people that just joined were also, I think they were also going to be grandfathered in, um, but the people that have been there the longest are going to get individual assessments and a determination about how much they're going to be getting. And so he went and got his assessment, uh, and it turns out all he ended up getting was about an extra 50 cents. That's it. Um, so, from a from an actual compensation standpoint, people that are just joining into the business now are going to be making almost as much money as he's currently making right now. And honestly, I've I've told him frankly, like he should just quit. Like I I know that it can be hard. Like there are a lot of cases where sometimes you can't do that. But I would seriously look for a different place. Um, and him specifically, he's told me, like, if, if they decide 
to not... If they stick with this raise that they've given me, like, I am going to leave. I'm just going to tell them straight up. Like, it's either I'm going to leave or I'm going to threaten them that I will do the amount of work that I am being paid for. Basically, I'm only going to be doing as much work as I feel I'm being paid and compensated for. I'm like, oh, that sounds like a good way to get yourself fired. And at this point, I don't think he cares, though. Kiaro says, oh, a visitor. Turns away in a rants. Yeah, sorry. No, I, I, I seriously, I support the ever-loving hell out of him. I, I hope that, uh, I hope he finds something a little bit more stable. But anyways, yeah, we got a visitor on this island. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa Tours? Tours? Our, of course you are. You're holding a brochure. The tour's about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history of flora on this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Yeah, why not? Perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches are a healthy for wait, and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. Hooray! No, I definitely agree, Kippy. Like, I, it, this is definitely a case of... The, the, oh, and also, on top of that, um, <laughs> here's the other bullshit part. I didn't mention this. Um, they mentioned, well, I mean, your company assessment is going to be coming up pretty soon here. Like, it's going to be in October. So, you know, if you wanted to argue your wages, you could um, definitely put a good, you know, you could put a good word in when your uh, assessment comes in. And he's like, actually, no, 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 they didn't say that. But what he assumes they're going to do is that. Because, like, they've, they've pulled that uh, movement before with him. Um, and honestly, if, if it were me... It, if they do say that, I'm just going to straight up tell them, just like, I, I gave them a very specific um, explanation for what that was. Because they tried to do that to me on a couple of different occasions while I worked there. Um, it's essentially keeping you on a leash. Or like, it, it, it's putting the carrot in front of your face. You know, carrot on a stick. And just telling you, oh, good things around the corner. Oh boy, hey, you better keep on moving because your opportunity is on its way. You, you never know. Don't complain. Don't whine. It is right there, dude. And yeah, if they decide to pull the whole, oh, well, your assessment's coming up in October. Uh, yeah, horse shit. And I hope, I, I told him straightforward, do not fall for that. If they do say that, do not fall for that. And like, straight up tell them, I know this is a tactic you're using to try and deflect. Has several years of work experience being the linchpin of your corporation not been sufficient? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he—I don't think he holds himself up to that kind of level. Um, but at the same time, I definitely do. I, I think he does have a. I personally think he has a significant amount of knowledge myself that uh, giving him such a small amount of money for the work that he does is absolutely criminal. Um, like I said, I kind of hope that he just finds another job outside of where he currently is, because he, I value him a heck of a lot more than these assholes do. But anyways, uh, over here. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one's around. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I'm off duty. But that's besides the point. Off to our next stop. I feel like this woman is actually crazy. <laughs> like, it's gonna turn out that this entire situation was just like... Yeah, I live with myself. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like I could possibly cut down the trees and piss them off. Oh, look at all these trees! Anyway. Alright. You could feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, but to be honest, if we could move along, that would be great. Excuse me. Hmm. D forest! Again, I don't know how she feels about me cutting down trees in her freaking forest, but okay. <laughs> Very good timing on the next explanation point. <laughs> it's like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, no, as a little bit of a recap, uh, one of the things that they tried to do with me when it came to when I was working there 
Um, I was pissed because I was getting very sub minimum wage when I started. You know, this was before the changeover happened. Speaking of which, ooh, what an interesting looking tree. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, while I was working there, I was genuinely really upset and pissed because they, again, they had me working three or four people's positions over the course of me, um, every single day that I would go in there. And I actually didn't know about that until, um, oh, I, I think I talked to my buddy and he, he actually told me, he's just like, yeah, you were actually doing like four people's jobs. I'm like, what? But yeah, usually during day shift, uh, they tend to have that separated between like three or four people. Um, but they don't have enough people around, so they just kind of pile jobs on whoever it is that's there. And uh, if you've got the stamina, oh yeah, they'll, they'll shove more stuff on you. I'm like, what the fuck? I, you know, and, and that really pissed me off. Um, but no, like slowly I started to get just fatigued about the job. And uh, one of the people that was on staff who was like, uh, one of the head production managers, she pulled me aside and she's just like, what, what's wrong? What's going on here? Um... And I, I was just like, man, I'm not getting nearly compensated enough for the amount of work that I'm doing at this place. And she's like, yeah, you know, I, I do agree with you. Which, by the way, she did have that kind of voice. She's like, I, I do definitely agree with you. Like, I, I know that you're currently making, you know, it, you could probably make just as much of a wage if you were working at, like, a McDonald's. And uh, I, I can understand that. I, I get it. Um, and, and that, that's very fair. But uh, at the same time, that's kind of how the uh, the, the corporate heads has kind of set this up. Like, you know, you, you're you're gonna have to wait till your next assessment. Uh, maybe after you work here long enough, we can uh, negotiate something like that. Um, uh, but tell you what, y you told me that you were really upset about the overtime work, and you were upset that it just gets dropped on you out of nowhere. Um, well, a way that you might be able to fix that, and a way that you can make a little bit more money on the side, uh, just stay in overtime all the time. I'm like, what? I'm like, well, yeah, because if you think about it, uh, that means that you're going to be bringing in more hours and more time, and that's time and a half when you do overtime, so you'll be making more money, and uh, then, again, you'll be in overtime all the time, which means you're not going to be surprised when suddenly we add an extra two hours on top of your thing. And I'm just sitting, like, I, I didn't say anything, but in my head, I'm like, you have missed the point. Either you have missed the point, or you are deflecting like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, surprise, I left. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of which. This fortune tree is the centerpiece of this whole island. We're not sure when it was planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Alright, this concludes our tour. Furagara Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. No. Oh, oh, I think I did it. <laughs> Shit. Oops. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming news. Oh, God damn it. Please. Oh, no. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Now I'm going to get a bunch of spam mail. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. They disappeared. The fuck? Oh, no. Proceeds to cut down tree. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna feed this dude. Um, I assume you probably would like corn. There you go. Ooh. Berries! Sweet. I needed those. Um, nothing over there. I, I assume I could probably take this sheep back to my, uh, my ship now? I hope so. Keep up, buddy! Also, oh, there's mushrooms here. Yeah, how much crap are they going to allow me to take from this place? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I have... I've said it before and I'll say it again. The moral of the story is... Value yourself. Value yourself. It can be hard sometimes, and sometimes you'll feel hard up and you won't feel like you have a choice, but... Man, you always have a choice. You can't 100% know for... Oh, hey, you made it back here. Thank you for taking the time. Don't forget to tell your friends. No. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's jumped in the boat. Come on, friend. We're off to the ship. 
I must see this. So I guess now that's a part of my daily routine. Taking care of the sheep. Yep. Hello. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're hungry again. Um, there's a little bit more corn. There you go. Hopefully you don't, like, take up too much. There we go. Arf. I actually, um, I was talking to my dad not too long ago, because I brought up that story to him. Um, and he mentioned that there was a place that he used to work for, uh, not too long ago, actually. Um, they kind of pulled a very similar, not, not exactly the exact same thing, but a, a very similar kind of move where they were like, oh yeah, let's lower the, you know, let, actually let's, let's raise the minimum wage that we give to new, the workers, so that they are happy when they join up. And it's like, meanwhile, he's sitting there like, okay, cool. Am I going to get better compensation? And the entire job place was just like... Yeah. Talk to us at your evaluation. I can get how that can be awkward, but like th that is an unfair thing. Like you got Like even if you decided to raise everybody's um wages up a dollar, that like of the people that were already there, I think they would at least appreciate that. You know. Just to compensate for the, the changes that are happening within the business. Like, a dollar might not be a great compensation, but it's at least a compensation. I don't know. I don't want to get too ranty when it comes to my streams, but good lord, that, that one definitely drives me up the damn wall. Those guys. I'm trying to think if I've seen anything um, actually entertaining or something fun as of late. I am not sure, personally. Whoop. I think now would be a good time to sleep. Have I watched any shows lately? I'm a weirdo because a lot of the stuff that I watch is stuff on YouTube. Um, which has, it's done a really great job at uh, saving me a little bit of money. You know, I, I don't need to go and, you know, pay money off to uh, some random, like, da package or anything like that. <laughs> Kippy says, I mean, low-key, same. <laughs> like, most of the stuff that my parents actually have um, is stuff that they have bummed off of other people. <laughs> They're just like... Hey, do you have a Netflix account? Can I get access to it? And there's like, okay. Ooh. This is kind of a raggedy freaking couch. But hey, it's simple. Kitty literally uses a ball in the ocean. Yes. No, you're right. Absolutely right. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what I, what I've been watching as of late on YouTube because like it, it's weird to think that oh that's not exactly a program but you're right that is kind of a form of entertainment. Shoot, I forgot to look, wake people up. Wake up. Kippy says, "Catch me spending four days watching Tear Zoo." Oh God, I don't watch that. Is that like you know an, an animal type of thing? I mean, it, it definitely sounds like it. Oh boy. Uh, you probably don't need a hug, I assume. Good morning. Oh, wait, um... Good morning, everyone! <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, da, 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 da. Here you go. Simple fish. Oh. Oh, damn it to hell. Hi, I'ma feed you. Um... Coffee? There we go. And again, the coffee just becomes something that you eat with a fork. Let's see, I fed you. You're good there. Uh, we got a new mouth to feed. Oh, no, you have been fed. Good. Kara says, I just watch a hat in time stuff and my stuff sometimes <laughs> end games. Oh, the peak of freaking entertainment. A weird dude on the internet. And just hat in time. Nothing else. Just that. Okay, right, uh, kitchen. The kitchen is just, like, it's so stuffed in a corner here. 
here. I need to make myself... Take some strawberries. So can I mix that together with anything else? No? Alright. I know that what I make is, um, you know, one of Summer's favorites, so I'll, I'll go ahead and just make that. Kippy says, it talks about animals as if they were part of a, um, <laughs> a MOBA meta. Weird. Kara says, my peak of entertainment has gone down low, <laughs> has gone down low, my god. It, it's okay, man. At this point, like, I, I'm just trying to watch anything that, that takes my mind off of a bunch of the more serious stuff going on as of late. Which, again, that's a lot of stuff in my own personal life and a whole lot of stuff just, you know, internationally. Everyone's asking about Gwen. Same! Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her in a while. Do you think she ran away? Maybe back to our parents' house? Oh, are you, are you guys hinting at something? <laughs> you guys are obviously hinting at something. You know what? I, I think it is due time for us to uh, finally make the... Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at how much map was uh, explored. All right, where was her parents' house at? I know, like, the mansion was not Alt Harbor. Oh, this is done. Hey. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going back there anyway, so let's let's go ahead, grab our oars, and let's head back in. Where the fuck is Gwen? <laughs> she needs to come back with a carton of milk. And Pei says, when will my Gwen return for more? I must find Gwen. I sense she is unfulfilled. I must give her hugs. And her favorite meals. Hello, sir. How you doing? Lovely weather we're having in. We're having... Oh, wait. Did I go to the wrong place? I think I certainly did. Shit. Well, what do you got? I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of these. Why not? Is there a point to me buying... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to buy a bunch of these empty glasses, because I, I sense they will be important. Just a sense. And now we move on. <laughs> Find the Gwen and hug them. Hugs and coffee. Oh, yes! Much coffee. Da 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 I will never get over this honky ass music. Mark, 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 mark. What a cute seal boy. Okay, thinking back to stuff that I've been watching as of late on the YouTubes. Um, I've been watching a lot more of, uh, oh, I think it's, uh, what, what's his name? Is it like, um, Pat MC? I think I actually have a YouTube window open. Let me see. Oh, no, it's it's Matt, uh, it's Matt KC. There's something about Matt KC's videos that I am very intrigued about. Maybe it's just the fact that he is uh, also a fan of Lego Island. A crap load of Lego Island. But his stuff is always entertaining because he, he always presents it as, like, let's try and do a fun little project and see, like, will it go right? Will it go wrong? I don't know. And he's pretty chill when it comes to it, too. You know, he he's not one of those super energetic, just like, oh, yeah, today we're going to mod our thing so that we can play the Minecraft or whatever. Like, no, it's, it's just like, hey, you see this N64? Wouldn't it be nice if this power adapter on the back of it worked in uh, multiple regions? Hmm. That's neat. I kind of want to do that. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> that was one of his recent episodes, and it's to me, it's kind of intriguing. He he um he presents it in a pretty easy way, so that it's it's palatable to someone who doesn't know exactly what uh, electronics are like, you know, or like how to do it, how to do electronic thingies. I sort of do, but um, it, I am also intimidated to hell about it. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Th this is uh this is her place. So, I went the entirely wrong direction. Oh, shit. Did the oven just go off? Huh. Huh. 
Yipe. Ben, where? <laughs> Gwen, where the pack are you? Uh, let's see. What, what else would be nice? Oh, we could finally make some tea. Okay. What? Can I? Can I infuse it with anything? No. <laughs> okay. You know what? Pure tea is fine. Kippy says another channel I binged a few weeks ago was uh, Nightmind, who does analysis and summary vids of online horror projects, like ARGs and the like. That sounds kind of neat. Okay, right. Yes, I... I oh, Jesus. T-Brew's quick here. My God. <laughs> a cup of... Um... I wonder... I got a lot of popcorn as of late. Oh, oh Jesus! I can I can infuse. All right, so the corn plus some vegetables. I'm gonna wait on that actually. I'll hold off. I'm gonna collect some more vegetables and then I will give that a shot. Kara says I watch Rainbot ARGs and stuff, or just horror games in general. Um, I'm not really in that sphere myself. I, again, I, I'm mostly in the tech sphere. Oh, I can tell you one person that I have definitely been binging as of late. Uh, Dank Pods. If you don't know what Dank Pods is, he's an Australian dude who um, takes iPods and he just mutilates them and does all kinds of different projects with them. Either that or he just does a whole lot of things involved with um, audiophile NP3 type of things. But he always tends to uh, come at it with... I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, a good way to explain it. He's got a very good um, personality when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, that's what I appreciate about him. Kippy says, literary analysis rubs face all over. <laughs> Mine! We off. On a journey! How the heck did she manage to get here anyway? Like, holy shit. Like, I know you're a spirit, but good lord. It's like one day you're inside your cabin, and the other day is like, Nope! I'm out, son! See ya! <laughs> Ebbe said, Turns out it was Inside a Mind that I watch. He does the same thing, ARG summaries. That is, uh, wow. A lot of people watch stuff about ARGs. Hey, Sprout. I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking? Boy. I'm certainly thinking. You know what I'm thinking? Pork! He's like... Kippy says, my parents were making fun of me and my husband for having a really at-length discussion about the movie uh, all four of us had just gone to see. I mean, isn't that a part of the movie experience? You know, just like analyzing and thinking about what the, the, the experience that you just watched. That's a big part of it. Oh, well, looky, looky here. I wonder, is there anything here that I can uh, get to now that I have, like, more special abilities? Knocky knock. Oh. Gibby says, my parents teased us like, did you even like the movie? <laughs> you gotta talk about the movie. You just watched it. I see some people walking around in here. I believe that's nothing special. Hello! Stella! Hey. Stella! I, I... Where did you go? Why did you leave? I'm sorry. Hey. Sorry I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliche to boot. Mm -hmm. oh. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm -hmm. To decide on my own terms how I'd go. And not let myself be taken away. I've been weak, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. ah, the irony. Crap, I feel so selfish now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you. But rarely. <laughs> oh, crap. Hug me now. Jesus, you're starving! Okay, I I'll hug you, but... 
Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Mm. I can't eat the sick. For fuck's sake! <laughs> You're starving! Eat something! Jesus, fine. Popcorn! Mm. <laughs> Fucking hell! F. Bay said, I like to look at TV tropes after watching a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, again, you've been gone for several days. How do you even remember what it was that you ate previously? I certainly wouldn't. Man, I don't have that kind of a memory. Let me tell you something. It's hard for me to remember, like, the dinner that I had three days ago. Let alone... What Missy here is just like, oh, hey, you uh, I don't... I ate that not too long ago. You! Oh, well, I... Hmm. I've lost my house because of you. Your friend wasn't using it. It should be mine. Oh. I have rights, you know. Now, that old shrew kicked me out. I'm back being the gardener. Mm -hmm. But the biggest rub is, my house is locked. I'll break that padlock and get my dignity back. Someday. Oh. Leave me alone for now. I have work to do. New request. This shed is my shed. <laughs> this shed is my shed. This shed is your shed. So am I supposed to get the key for him so that he can enter his shed? I wonder if it's somewhere in the house. I, I would like to see. Heck, even right now I'm trying to remember what I ate like three days ago. It's hard! <laughs> I'm upset. Why is it so difficult for me to remember this shit? Knock, knock. I see something glowing up. What? No, not you, Kitty. But, you know, thank you. Ah, yeah, screw it. Although, wait a minute. I swear up and down like I... What the? Kitty, what? Is the kitty running through the house like a maniac? <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, oh no, there you are. I was very confused there. All right. Well, I found you. You don't... Okay, you're not on talking terms? Fine. Are you going to get in the boat? Eh. I don't know. Maybe she's just going to uh, hold the fort for now. Oh, no, no. Wait, she's here. Okay, she changed her mind. Oh, shoot. This stuff's watery. Kitty crazies. Some people are scared of zoomies. I think zoomies are adorable. The burst of energy out of your animal. At least like with zoomies, uh, at least the zoomies that uh, my cats do, it's not like dangerous or destructive. You know, it's just like, woo, run into the house. Yeehaw! And then they, and then they get tired and then they curl up next to you. It's just like, oh God. <laughs> Look, this will come as a shock, but I'm ready to leave. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. I just can't fight it anymore. Mm. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Mm. Bring me to the Everdor when you... Okay, where you met Sharon. I'm ready. I think. Very well, madam. Well, it, it, it's currently dead of night. So... I knew it was coming eventually. I don't have the ability to navigate it dark, but... <laughs> Big sister, what's her problem? Um, I mean... A, a lot of stuff involved with family in her uh, early life, but... For the most part, I've made her pretty comfortable here on the boat. And, uh... She's still... She, she's trying... She's fighting in her head. It's like, I don't know. Should I stay or should I go now? She seems ready now. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Again, technically I'm the Grim Reaper. <laughs> you wouldn't think that, considering how uh, freaking adorable and... Here. <laughs> Would you like a last meal? 
Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Hi. Right. Well, you're certainly hungry. I've got your favorite. Hug this neck. Technically the Grim Reaper. Exactly. That's what I do. All right. There you go. The coffiness. And I will feed you some popcorn, because you have not had that in a little while. Be a deer. Be a deer and do what? Was this about food? I, I think you're satiated. Okay. And now I gotta... Oh, I don't have to feed you. How often do I feed the sheep? Jesus. Is it one of those, like, if you shear them uh, often, then you have to feed them more? I'm starting to get that idea. I got a lot of coffee. <laughs> All right, bolognese. There you go. Hug frog. All right. Time to navigate. How far away are we from the uh, from the portal, so to speak? Oh, pretty far away. Okay. Might be worth it to... Okay, wh where is... Jesus, I have lost my ship already. Where are... <laughs> where are we? Hold up. Okay, right there. Yeah. I, I think it would be beneficial for me to uh, take the bus stop. Ugh. I wonder how many people are actually within this game. Like, <clears throat> I've met a lot of people on my travels. Like, how in-depth are we going to get here? Because it looks like it, uh, you know, a revolving door of bringing people in, making them comfortable, and then passing them on to the next life. Like, all right, wh where do we go from here? Oh, no. Oh, you all know what that means. Time for some <laughs> some silly seal things. I'm thinking of pork chops. No. Um, I think the closest one is this one. Oof. We, okay, we got to go through a storm before. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. Wait, was there a bus stop in there? Damn it. Wait. I might have messed up. Yes, there is. Thank you, sir. This is kind of bittersweet. Because, again, this was my tutorial friend. Goodbye, Seal. I will always love you. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Jesus. All right, lady. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I had been waiting for that moment to arrive. Sooner or later. Will you accompany me, my friend? No. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Black Griffin says, oh dear, I signed in on time to see Gwen depart. Yep. Good job. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Stella, look, there's something I wanted to give you. <laughs> I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Here it is. <laughs> my old lighter. <laughs> That's a good place to put... Me okay, I'm imagining this is just a wooden toy box, and if that thing were to somehow, like, combust... Holy shit! I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. I stole it off father when I was 12. <laughs> I was a pyromaniac. Please use it to remember me. In the good times. 
in the bad times. They exist together. Again, I'm going to burn down the forest for you. Mm -hmm. Intertwined. If there's one thing you learned from me, it should be that. All right, we, we off. Follow me. On the waterway of blood. Burn everything. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now. You know me. I've never been one to dwell on the past. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. Like an irresistible wave of resentment. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said. That people come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That lives are only ever parallel. Adjacent at best. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> I can see that now. And you're the proof of it. And not just you, but Mum cared as well. Mm. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances. I still don't know about Father. Mm. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Mm. Would that make a difference? Maybe. But after all this, mm. I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. Mm. I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. Mm. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. Mm. My shades were too opaque. Mm. Okay. Let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Here we go, madam. To the great beyond you, you be. Mm. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt and shaking my ego. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. <gasps> One last hug! <laughs> For the road. Conveniently out um, cropped outside of my peripheral vision so that I can't actually see it in the night sky. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I will. Somehow. Dear lady. What? Hey! Where am I now? Okay. Am I learning a new song? What the heck is this? Oh, man. Is this her last memories? I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Uh, you know what? Yeah, we need to... We need to look at this a little bit closer. Uh, that looks... The, the bright thing's probably her. Big old cookout with everybody laughing, enjoying themselves.
Learn how to ride a bike. Oh, God. Man. Don't make me feel like this. Hi! What are you up to? Inner demons? Ah, there they are out on the villa. Oh, shoot. This is definitely giving me, like... I I've had vibes similar to this after playing a Night in the Woods, like, dream sequence. Very thoroughly coming back. Hi. Owl spirit. What the heck voice does this do? I have no clue. Hmm. <laughs> I, I just give him like the, you know, the customary what? voice. Pig's going for deep voice. I've done a lot of voices with this on it as of late. Good work. We finally meet. Face to face. For such a long time, I have been watching you, Stella. Close yet far. You've kept your distance. But you knew I was there. Hidden in every shadow. Skulking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I have been a part of you. Even as my existence was built with but, but a foreign thought. And as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited silently. Your joy, your pride, your happiness. Moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned. And at last, you have found me. Go now, for I have not yet fully awakened. Resume your duties. Carry on your graceful dance. We'll meet again. Soon. Spirit Spiritfarer. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. Ah! Guys, I had a ridiculous out-of-body experience. <laughs> Oh. Spirit flower. Jesus! This game, I swear. <laughs> the symbolism is killing me. Right, well, let's just move on. Yes, um, more tea. Let, let's make more, more tea, more drink. Good old cuppa to start your day or make your, you know, make your noon, you know, gray afternoon, evening, drink for every occasion. How do you keep going after that? God damn it. These things are taking 12 years to finally finish growing. <coughs> All right. Death avoids no one says Kippy. Kippy! <laughs> Come on! Alright. Be a deer. Hi. Mm -hmm. You know what would be nice? Some, oh. Oh, oh alright. Um. You already had. Gr I think you haven't had this in a while. Oh, fuck. Maybe you did. Sorry. Well, then in that case, I'll hand you this fish. There you go. <laughs> I'm basically feeding and taking care of everybody so that I have, like, sad times. Ooh. For God's sake! Where do I find a pig?! You jackass! 
Oh, hey, you're hungry. Okay. <laughs> oh, oops. I, I fed them something that I didn't expect. I was planning on feeding them coffee. <laughs> I wanted to feed the sheep coffee. <laughs> Very badly. Okay. Well, it's in the middle of the night. Can't really do anything navigation-wise. Where's the ship right now? Are we still in, like, the blood zone? It doesn't look like we are. Why does death have to be directly tied into the color red? For, I, I know for a fact... It's, it's blood color. I get it. But at the same time, it's like, wow, that's grim. Feckin' shit. I think it's time to sleep all that off. Oh, stretch time. Oh. I wonder what everybody on the ship thinks of that one. Kippy says water also takes the red tone when the sun sets. So, oh, so you think it's like a symbolic thing in that way? Mm. Yeah, maybe. Frankie says that hat is ridiculous. No, you! <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, hey, we got mail. Oh, right, I've got a whole bunch of, like, random stuff in my inventory I need to read. What the... First of all, let me collect all this. And we got a treasure map. Map location, 5852. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I'll go look for that, then. <laughs> oh, God, we got a brochure. Shit. Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest in the serenity of its magnificent rice fields. Available. Garen. I know. And then uh, then there's the Furugawa tours. Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors. You can now take a tour of the city. See our, the shop. Visit our shrine. Take in the sights. Available now. None of that is there. <laughs> Oh, Kippy, old AOL voice. You got mail. I never had an AOL account. Which is kind of interesting. A delicate... A Asphodel? Asphodel? Gwen Spirit Flower. Can be used to upgrade your boat! Good! Kippy says, I only had one to use AIM. Yeah. So, like, alright. I, I gotta ask this question. For people that were, um... You know, within that sphere around that time. What did you... Did you just... Did you say A-I-M? Did you spell it out? Or did you just say AIM? Because I know a lot of people that just said AIM. Apparently that flower is supposed to grow on the river uh, of sticks, according to Kippy. Nice. Uh, Kippy just said AIM. Yeah, same here. And so did, like, everybody else within, um, you know, within my circles. But again, I didn't really have a whole lot of friends uh, in school that I wanted to continue to connect with via AIM. We ended up using some other, you know, more obscure freaking things. I seem to remember we smoked through X-Fire. <laughs> that was an interesting time. I'm kind of glad the chat logs, like, from back in the day are probably long gone at this point. I never said anything, like, you know, horrible and horrendous. I, I do remember I said stuff that was cringy as shit, though. Hmm. Frankie says, why are you watering your cat? The cat got in the way. Don't blame me. I got planks! Oh. Planks! Get your planks! Make some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy! Yay! I'ma feed you some more blah 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 blah. Oh. Kippy said, I used aim to RP. So same. <laughs> right. I don't know. I never said anything. Like, I didn't RP or do anything to that nature. But I do feel like I probably had, like, some really garbage opinions as a kid. You know what I mean? It's one of those just like, oh, yeah, I'm sure I thought I knew everything. And then it turned out I certainly did not. And then you just have to pull your collar like, oh, God. Uh, Dragon Rose didn't use instant messaging until middle school. Probably for the best. 
I mean, heck, I didn't have a, a Facebook account until pretty late into my life. So, like, thankfully, uh, I was not really... I wasn't really motivated by any social media growing up, and I I am very thankful of that to this day. You know, like, I, I could have potentially made myself a MySpace. I didn't. Because I, I looked at that and I went, well, what's the point? And it's like, well, hey, you, you can go and you can get some friends. It's like, okay, well, they're, they're just online friends, right? Well, I mean, you could have it with real-life friends. Can't you just be real-life friends without the internet? Well, but, I mean, you can become friends with, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson on face you know, on, the, on the MySpace. I'm like, yeah, but does he actually know you? It's like, I, I mean, maybe. He, I mean, he's friends with me. So clearly he knows me somehow. It's like, how many friends does he have? Uh, like, 500,000 friends. Yeah, he's not friends with you. <laughs> you know, that was my opinion when it came to anything related to um, MySpace. And I have the exact same kind of mindset with Facebook. This is one of the reasons why uh, I would like to point this out. I've had this mindset uh, for the longest time. My friends list tends to be limited to people that I I can genuinely consider friends. So, you know, I'm not going to fluff anybody's ego, but... If you ended up on my friends list, uh, like, anywhere, whether it's, like, Discord or anything to that related, like, it, it's hard to get to that point. I'm not trying to, like, glorify it and just be like, oh, hey, yeah, look at you, you're hot stuff. No, it's, it's pretty much just, yeah, I think you're cool. <laughs> Black Griffin says, at least I'll always have you, Tom. <laughs> oh, fucking Tom. He made out like a bandit. He came up with the concept, took a bunch of money, and then ran. <laughs> He's, he's good. And Frankie is in the chat, says, like, what are you talking about? I knew everything then, and I know everything now. <laughs> yeah, Kippy says, if you were a kid, having dumb opinions is inherent in the condition. Yeah, pretty much. You're not developed enough to have, like, a, a, a good sense of everything. Oh, wait a minute! I don't have a joke for the loom yet. Yeah, I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it. Looming over me. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. So I use those flowers to upgrade my ship somehow? In what category? Is it... No, not that one. <laughs> Do I need to take... Oh, well, there's spirit... Oh, hey, wait, there we go. There's a spirit flower. I got that. So now I just need oak planks and iron ingots. Fuck yes, I'll be right back. I feel kind of bad because I'm I'm improving the ship off of the corpse of another person. <laughs> as griff as that is. Um, okay, how much iron ingot do I have anyway? Quite a bit, okay. Okay. A little bit of coal. Oh, shit, yeah, I gotta go and, um, grab some. Fr Frankie says obvious sarcasm if you can't tell. Oh, I know. The sentence that you sent was just bleeding sarcasm, so, so no worries. The, that, that is a, a fact, though. It's very difficult to actually read sarcasm in text form, and it makes me sad. I wish it was easier that way. I feel like we'd have a lot less internet fights if it were easier to read that kind of stuff. I mean, I, there are people that put slash s at the end of their sentences, but that's not everyone does that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kippy even says it's like I just go with slash s. I try to do that when I remember, but like ever so often I forget. And again, that's not an overall rule that everyone follows, too. Give me a second. I'm going to put... I'm going to plant my face directly on this iron. Uh, I know that I've got some of this currently uh, cooking on the turtle. Which is a very odd sentence. <laughs> Frankie says you could always describe your tone in the message. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Uh, that reminds me of that one uh, elephant-looking race in Mass Effect. The one that literally has, like, the most monotone voice possible that can't emote. So in order for them to talk to other species, they have to, like, directly tell somebody what their, um, you know, what, what their uh, emotional response of it was. You know. 
distressed. Have you found my child yet, human? <laughs> and again, they all sounded like... Oh! Piss. Oops. I was not paying attention. <clears throat> Relieved. I am thankful that you helped me out. I'm sad. I really like the Mass Effect universe, and it's just... It's a, it's a shame that Bioware is currently in uh, such a state. Warm it up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man, I'm so fidgety. All right, now to head and make some oak planks. Um, oh, I've got a hell of a lot of these planks. Holy shit. I'm going to turn about 20 of these things into planks, because... Although, again, I've noticed that the uh, the cuts on later logs seem to be a little bit difficult. Not stupidly difficult, but noticeably. Oh. I'm trying to remember, like, back in the day, old school internet, what did I do? Um, I know that for the longest time, Winamp was, like, the number one thing that we used on our computers. And if you don't know what Winamp is, like, it's a media player. Winamp, 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 do. And their catchphrase was, it really whips the llama's ass. I think there's actually a new version of Winamp, Winamp that came out not too long ago. Agak! Which is, it, it, that's a strange thing, because uh, Winamp was kind of quiet and nothing was happening for the longest time. Yeah, not so much. I guess there was um, an update to uh, make it more compatible, question mark? Oh. I don't know. I, I've kind of moved past that nowadays. You know, with, with stuff like um, VLC being a thing. And if you don't use VLC, I, I highly recommend. It's a good media player, and it, it's a good, like, music player. Very compatible with a lot of shit. Open source. And free. Okay, we do now I've got enough oak planks to literally sink this ship. <laughs> Frankie Jason, oof, that was that one was rough. He says as a light-hearted jest. You can do incredible things with us all, Mill, these days. You can even go on the internet. You can log in. I should really just keep that on on stock whenever I meet this dude. Please, for the love of God. Okay, so I can upgrade and I can make the icebreaker. So now I can go into the icy planes and stuff. I like the next thing that I will need... Oh, some wool fabric. Hey, I got a sheep. How do I shear the sheep? How do I kick the sheep's ass and get my hands on some wool? I have it. We got it. We, we doing it. And Kiara says, the pacer test. Can I put it here? Oh, please don't. 
The fitness grand pacer test is a No again. How do you how do you get wool from the dude? I could feed you, but I can't share you. That's probably the next thing I'm gonna end up getting. <laughs> I got a lighter. Can I use that lighter and just light the sheep on fire somehow? Like will, will that get me what I need? Oh Jesus. Hiero just post the fitness grand pacer test. The oh god, I, I wish I had a more um come to think of it, do I have a a shitty voice filter to put on me for this? I got a lot of random filters, you know, thank you, voice mod. No, that's not gonna work. Boogity, boogity. Freaking great. Um, nope, that won't work either. I see like cop radio is on here, but I know that that one really sucks. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, you see, it, it's really ridiculously loud and it hurts. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna lower it down. Yeah. No. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to listen to. Even when I got the voice line, like all the way. Oh. 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 Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. It it peaks the ever loving hell out of it. Uh, what about? No. <laughs> That's not good either. Sorry. This jo This is a very bad joke that I'm currently putting a lot of freaking time into. What about this guy? Oh, hey, th okay, this isn't bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Give me a moment. Let me turn this thing down a little bit so that it sounds a little bit clearer. There we go. <sighs> Fucking damn it. Is there, wait a minute, is there more to the fitness grand pacer test that I didn't know about? Shit. <laughs> anyway. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 minute... Wait, the... Tw Sorry, let me restart because I, I want to do this in one shot. Okay, I can't tell you how many times I've... You know, to be serious though, I can't tell you how many times I've been doing lines for somebody and I have... I, I want to get through it in like such a perfect way, but it's such a long ass line. I won't complain. Here. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 minute... Th Fuck it! I give up. I can't do the thing. It's no longer funny. Pink says those memories earlier, earlier are Stella's memories. Yeah, I kind of figured that. After a little while, it started to get a lot clearer. That's like, oh, that's Stella. Haha, <laughs> noob. <laughs> yeah, JK seems to be like the the universal like. Just kidding. No sarcasm. Didn't mean. Be I am joke. I'm, I am memeing it up. And Maple in the chat says. E. Time to sleep. Oh, thank you very much for the three cargos. <laughs> I appreciate that, Mapley. It's going to be a good test to see whether or not the um, the credits work with that, because it... The last time that I did the stream, for some reason, it didn't work. In fact, just used 100 uh, points to add purple to their name. Or purple to their message, rather. Such convenience, isn't it? Oh, oh shit. Somebody apparently sung this thing awake. 
slip. I forgot to wake everybody up again. Get up! Lazy sex. <laughs> so slow. I'm dead. And... Kara says I should be doing my schoolwork, but that's BS. I mean, hey, might be BS, but it's kind of important to get it finished. Uh, what was the last thing that I gave you? Shoot. I wonder if you like tea. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you, you oh. like tea, and you turn tea into sandwiches. Peck says, Bit, did you just wake the crewmates up? Yeah, that, that's my job. I'm supposed to wake them up in the morning. <laughs> Kiaro just, um... made E a clip. On a weekend? Hey, come on. Everybody's working for the weekend. Oh, wait, before working for the weekend, not on the weekend. Shit. <laughs> I messed it up! Oh, sorry, my bad. I forgot. Man, it's so weird. Like, I haven't run into that line for, with him for a very long time. Something else, please! I kind of forgot that he actually, like, he wants to have differing dishes. I, I tend to just give him anything that I... I'm just like, I don't know, have this. Maple says, Frog Boy is Bobby. I agree. Frog Boy is a good boy. Okay, so, uh, has everybody else been properly fed? Not sure. Don't know. Oh, shoot. There are a lot of good boys here. I love how my spark just materializes water. Where do you think it, uh, like, teleports that water from? Howdy. Oh, you, you need feeding. Let's see, you had your favorite food not too long ago. Um, do you like tea? Oh, yes. Awesome. Again, this snake needs all of the hugs. I have an option to give people items. Am, am I dumb? Like, should I be giving them items more often? I know they give me items all the time. <laughs> kind of a jackass for not doing it. Just like, I give you planks all the freaking time, and yet you don't give me anything in return aside from some food. You know what I could really use? Uh, you know what I could really use right now? Freaking pork chops. You're dragging your ass on that one. I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm sorry. Right. Let us all go to Olga because I need to grab some more coal. It's funny because, like, Olga's... It's probably not very efficient to go and grab your coal from Olga or, like, anything like that. But for whatever reason, that's the one spot that I... I don't know. I just like interacting with Gigantic Turtle Lady. <laughs> you gotta love the in-between animations for these guys. <laughs> Playing a little bit of hacky sack with, you know, the little godly orb that you are, that you have currently been blessed with to take care of other people. Like, what do you do? You kick it around like a jackass. How you doing, kitty? <laughs> I kind of miss that stray that uh, just came through town. Scooter's such a sweetie. Oh my god. I want to pet that cat again. He's adorable. The sad part about Scooter coming into our yard, I I know for a fact that he's doing that because he's trying to catch some of the animals that are in the area. You know, like, I, I, this is partially like, oh, hey, human. Yay, I want pets. Hello. Oh, and, and you're going to keep me, like, sheltered? You're going to give me shelter? Thank you. I like shelter. Thank you for shelter. But at, at the same time, like, they also, um... It's also a case of just, like, I'm here to hunt, human. I'll take the pets, but for God's sakes, leave me be. Huh. 
Hello, madam. Anyway, so like I said before, ah, shit. I got plenty of um, planks and whatnot, and I have a lot of oak and stuff. So I don't need anything like that. It seems like the base thing I need is um, a lot of ore. Especially coal, because I've, I've gotten into actually smelting this stuff. Okay, so what would be a good idea? Ooh. I'm pretty low on iron at the moment. I think I'm going to wait to... Um, I'm going to wait to do any kind of smelting for now, and I'm going to make all of this iron. Maybe if I'm lucky, I will... Also, there we go. If I'm lucky, I might be able to uh, get some resources outside of this freaking turtle lady. Oh no, she sank. Oh, maybe Lee says, I hear my puppo quietly howling in their sleep. Oh! Cute. <laughs> Black Griffin. <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> well, that's my ultimate mission when it comes to playing this game. Catching you off guard. All right. I think now would be a good time to uh, travel out to some new locations. But to do that, I'm going to need to head to the bus stop. Because I am far away from civilization. She sunk into the water of Lego City. Hey! Build the helicopter. I don't really... Okay, I don't have any wool on me. I wonder what it's going to take to finally um, harvest all this wood. Well, wool, rather, rather. If you ask me, I believe that that one lady that uh, is currently off and she has sheep on that one island. What was it that she wanted me to do? I have a way to um, look at my, my missions and whatnot, right? I assume so. Probably my inventory. Yep, before I go, let's go ahead and take a look at my inventory. Oh, Jesus. Look at all my... Look at all the seeds. I can't plate that. So I need to make an orchard. So I need to get the orchard before I can do that. Okay. All my resources. I've got a ton of freaking bottles. Neat stuff. Well, I need to, like, that one lady that was just like, Oh, hey, I kind of want to, um... Okay, so here's all of my requests and all of my shenanigans. Find the location of the lost bounty. This shed is my shed. You know what? I just remembered. Apparently there is some hidden treasure located somewhere. I wonder if maybe I can go and find that. Um, let me check my map. Minus 58, minus 52. All right. Wait, so what's the numbering going on here? I, I can't actually see any of the numbering. Oh, wait, I can see the numbering. I just have to look at my freaking cursor. Like, not an idiot. I'm a dummy. Forget me. Hmm. Oh, shoot. It's like way down here. Well, okay, we can we can get started. Let's travel this way. Who wants to bet I'm going to get down there and I'm going to be blocked off by some kind of a barrier? Precious sea puppy. It's a very interesting sea puppy.
Right. Off on our majestic boat. Where to now? What is this? Nebula pill bugs. Time to see what the heck that is. Sounds dangerous. Sounds deadly. So what the heck happened to society? Like, it seems like a whole lot. Like, that was obviously a bus stop. Okay? Like, <laughs> straight up. Oh, Pink said I noticed the pattern on his fur. Which one? The seal? Whose fur? Which fur? <laughs> I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh, I think it's hard. He's a ribbon seal. Really? Oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> we were talking about ribbon seals earlier, and bada boom, bada bing, we found one. Though he's green and strange. I wonder if there's any kind of, um... Here. Is there a plot reason why they decided to make him a ribbon seal? Questions. Questions. I am the captain of the ship. What I say goes. Oh dear. <laughs> We're nearing our destination. I know because hell has opened up, uh, you know, above us. What the? Hey, what? What? Huh? What? Where? The fuck? <laughs> What the hell was that? Where'd he go? I saw that. Come back. Can someone explain that? It's a very strange world where, like, an eclipse can be happening on one side of this area, like... You know, not too far away from another area. Just like, oh, suddenly this is where eclipses happen. Yeah. Frankie says, I look away for one second. That's kind of what this game is, yeah. It can be chill for one minute, and then the next minute it's just like, what the hell are you? Seriously, where'd he go? He was in the water, and now he's gone. Don't worry, kitty. I'll be out of the water soon. Son of a bitch. I have the suspicion I probably don't need to do this part just yet. And that is likely why nothing is happening here. Um, Just to open up some places, let's go to this quarry. A lobster of some kind. Well, it was like a strange um, roly-poly bug thingy. Except a giant one. And it also floated uh, on the horizon for just a brief period. I couldn't actually touch it. The trees look oddly like mushrooms, don't they? Pillbug, says Kippy. There we go. Ah, did I make it just in time? I think I might have made it just in time. I don't know. Apparently not. I, I did have a little bit of time left. Alright, so we back in the mine. could be found in here. Whoa. Resources. I was in desperate need of coal. So yes, thank you. 
I think I was. I don't know. At one point in this entire thing, I needed coal, but... Mostly because I ended up using a bunch on my ship. Oh! Hello. Oh. Man, it's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one's training me. Oh. The place is falling apart. <laughs> we were just literally talking about horrible job experiences earlier. Oh. Yeah, back to work, I suppose. Creeper? Oh man. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. <laughs> I really don't feel like it. I've been really tired over the past week or so. I can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job without my help. God, again. This game is throwing way too much relatable shit. Got some sparks coming from over here. Oh, oh, what? Some kind of electric, oh, electric wire. Got it, got it. Or is it an electric wire or is it just like showing me a direction? Can I even get up there? like a third jump. I, I think I might not have what I need in this place. Or perhaps this is the place where I'm going to find some special item. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Likely no. <laughs> boy oh boy I can dream. Or, or maybe, maybe that's the way to come back from down here. Oh! Is this the way back? God, I'm lost. Good thing I'm playing a game where the the stakes are very low here. Oh, you're hungry. Um, mm -hmm. popcorn. Can you please not talk to me? I'm eating. <clears throat> I mean, I'm picking up some ore. Now, oh, damn it! One of my lights just fell. There we go. I need to find some better uh, room on my desk for stuff. I'm running out of room. <clears throat> I got way too much junk. Oh, shoot. Wasn't there... Mm, is there a specific ability I had where I could use this? Or did I see one of these things earlier and went... Mm, that looks like it might use an ability. I don't remember. All right, you gotta get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is about digging. Any problems you have, you leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. Ah, so fresh. So new. So naive. What is this? Hello. What? A diorama. An amethyst. Oh, good thing. Man, that's good. Good thing I've been checking the walls in here. Because, Uh, my manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. <laughs> You're gonna get me fired. Management's coming today. Uh, better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face and all. Hopefully they notice me and all the darkness. From this mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. Yeah, good luck. Good freaking luck. Your chances are slim as hell. Today will be the day. Oh, it totally will be. Oh, when you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's what my boss says at meetings. Dude, fuck that. Again, night job. 
This place is giving me PTSD and I want out. Oh, what the? Oh. What are you? Ah! Where am I? What is this? Oh, no! Listen, I've been working here for 10 years. I dug this little hole to read a few months ago. Don't tell anyone. You need to play it cool. I can't lose this job. I also can't afford to work that hard. My back really hurts. Uh, take this. Call it a bribe if you want. Asshole. <laughs> God, you're the reason why production sucks. This is one of those people that corporate would absolutely say. It's like, hey, if you see somebody slacking off, you better tell somebody. Because everybody needs to... Actually, no, funny enough, like, they won't they won't ever do anything about it unless somebody actually complains about it. In which case, like, then they actually do something about it. But I I'm sure that, like, the, the corporate ladder that is uh, currently going on in this place probably doesn't give two shits about whether or not someone isn't... Like, is or is not doing their job. Like, until they start worrying, like, uh-oh, oh no, somebody might see, like, bias in our system. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, fine, fine, we'll, we'll step in, we'll do something. Sorry, today has just been, like, roasting job security. The show. The visual experience. Anyway. It's daytime. I spent all night in the mines. That was tea leaves. Um, you know, more tea. I gotta remember some of these locations, because um, I'm sure that there are probably a lot of things that I am now missing, thanks to the fact I don't have some functional things. Good morning! Howdy. Here's some shellfish. Howdy there. Okay, you are full, but are you full of hugs? No, you're not. I'm handing you an extra amount of hug. Mm -hmm. Okay, got that stuff watered. Good to go. Oh, absolutely. I'll get you a snack. Um, I'll give you your favorite today, just because, oh dear, you, you're probably going to be super delighted after that. Nobody lives in Gwen. I know. Nobody lives in Gwen's house anymore. And yet the window opened up for some strange, mysterious reason. <laughs> Spooky, isn't it? It's almost like we're haunted by ghosts. By the way, I'm gonna sit in her chair and she's gonna like it. Yeah, look at me. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, this is starting to get boring. <laughs> All right, let's uh, track another course. We found this location. Goody. Oh, hey, Furugawa. How about that? Back like that. Uh, Hirakishima Lighthouse. Very curious. Very curious. So where was that one location that we were talking about? I think it was... Yeah, the location of the treasure chest is somewhere within this vicinity. I I'm just, I'm going to travel down there. Let's see what happens. If we end up getting eaten by a whale, well, I guess it's my own fault. Aw, oh, you, you're super happy. I'm good to see that. Having a good day. Got a good spot to rest and enjoy yourself. That's good. Can I improve any of the buildings that are currently set up there? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, but I need aluminum ingots. Okay, never mind. Uh, the guest house needs some fire glow. The farms do not need anything. Oh, I can improve this, though. Hell yeah! 
Very, very nice. And now you got a, a, a nice little extra thing in your house. I need more aluminum shit. Bottled ectoplasm? Are we running to ghosts? Yeah, fuck. Oh, thank you very much for the two hearts, Mapley. I appreciate it. Oh, and Mapley says I think I'm going to take off for now. Okie dokie. Oh, oops. What am I doing? Nothing here can be improved. Uh, that was built, but that was also built. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're about as improved as we can be right now. Do, 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 do. Hey, Snakeums. Oh, Snakeums. <laughs> Are you here to steal all the riches? I'm watching you, Summer. Oh, hey. I can make lettuce. Well, let us see. Uh, I think I made that joke the last time. <laughs> Never mind. Will you get up? No, no, no. Where? What is happening? What? What did happen? Oh. Okay, we made it. <laughs> We're at our objective. I'm like, why are we zooming out the camera? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> okay, can you can you get out of the way, please? I I'm trying to plant seeds. There. What are you been doing in the? Why are you in the garden? Not even talking to me. He's just like stoic in the garden. It's like, this is my place. This is my home. I live with the plants. I mean, that's okay, but for God's sakes, speak. Tell me why you're here. Anyway. No, I, I found a new location, apparently. According to what uh, the thing told. Oh, oh, shoot. I'm not close enough to be able to disembark. Uh, what was the exact coordinates? I should probably use that as the uh, the measurement here. Minus 58, minus 52. And what is... Wait, which one is 58 and which one's 52? I assume, like, X is probably 58. Doink. Kara says, hi guys, I'm Gamer... Wait, where the... Where was I stationed? Munchkin! Hi. I made these for you. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Iron. I have not fed you yet today. What is wrong with me? Here. Aha! Buried tradition! Here we are! But what what could it be? What's gonna be hidden in the water? If it turns out to just be like a spoon, I'm gonna be really upset. I don't even know. Oh, it's an improvement. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck are you? The boat's in the way. Neat. So what's it going to take to upgrade the foundry then? And what does the upgrade entail? Well, can't do that shit. Ne nebula. Oh, right. Yeah. Because like the I need to get that nebula twine or whatever. But I'm pretty sure that is far from where I currently am progress wise or not I don't know thinking of pork mm, thinking of pork da, 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 da. hey I'm still thinking of pork feck off <laughs> I would like to remind everybody again 
he mentioned he like he desperately wants pork chops you know and he mentioned that uh when he has like a big appetite for something you know he, he tends to be unbearable he told me he literally told me i don't care though i don't give a shit anyway i, I stopped here before okay <sighs> well why not I'm gonna circle back, and we're going to stop over there. <laughs> Is there anything that this little ball can't do? Like, it can be a hacky sack, it can be a yo-yo. <laughs> it can't be a replacement for your mother's love. <laughs> Alright, in the meantime, while we are currently doing all this, I wonder if there's something I should be doing. Because everything's watered. Everything's good. I think everyone's fed. Either that or I am supremely wrong. So here's a random thing that I could talk about. Um, I was looking into... Oh, message in a bottle. Uh, I was looking into potentially uh, changing the name of the Twitch stream. Just because I, I know that a lot of people, they tend to refer to me as Bitby. And, you know, as they should. Because that's the name that I've pretty much chosen on. But it kind of throws me off. It throws some people off um, whenever they find out that my Twitch URL is it's Bitabytes. Because, like, yeah, that's technically me. Like, Bitby, Bitabytes, that guy. However, most people identify with Bitby. Um, I tried to look into getting that. First of all, I think that's a name that's a little bit too simplistic. Uh, two... Uh, apparently you cannot have any kind of, like, dashes or anything like that in your name on Twitch. I tried, I checked, you can't. So if I were to make it anything, it would just be, like, Bitby without the dash in between. Um, and the other problem is that apparently somebody already has that account name. Shocking, I know. Somebody has the account name of, like, four letters. Oh, surprise. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of a... I could... Definitely message them and ask them whether or not they could, like, give up the name. But at the same time, you have to ask, like, yeah, is it worth it? Yeah. I mean, I've been using this exact same Twitch URL for a while, and honestly, I kind of just want to stick with it, because this is, this is kind of where a lot of people that already know where I am, I'm at. You know? It's like, I, I don't really want to, um... <laughs> yeah, rock the boat, so to speak, if we're going to be making more boat jokes. I made it back. So, I don't know. I, I, I probably will not be changing it. Unless they decide to add, like, dashes and add those as, uh, you know, a, a pro acceptable symbols that you can have in your name. Oh, look at all these trees! Ooh, yeah. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Okie dokie. I'll pick up some, too. I don't know if I need any. But I'm here. Like a hot knife through butter. What else can be found on this? Oh, hello. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. Did you guys come from that mine? Oh, wow, I heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for, like, a week, you can become a seagull or something. <laughs> I see there is exactly one seagull on top of it. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. So it's just a salt lick. You crazy monks. <laughs> what do you say? Should I do just an entire, like, Seven week stream of literally standing directly next to this rock and seeing if something happens in a week. <laughs> I feel like that would be very boring and a waste of bandwidth. Also, it'd be a waste of electricity, too. <laughs> like, I don't- I don't need to have a game constantly running on my computer at all times. Oh, uh, that's how you can tell I'm old. I care about these things. Mostly because, again, 
That's Bills. This this has so much of my curiosity, though, man. Like, this is definitely one of those things that a, a game programmer probably would put in a seven-day period where if you hang out there for seven days, then just suddenly something happens. But I do not have the patience to do that. Oh, hey, look, somebody that can be banned. Doot, 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 doot. Good news, everyone. I'm getting quicker with that. Frankie says, do you get excited about the new ladder that you just bought? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not at, I'm not at Jack Septicai level like, oh, ladder fandom. Imagine if it turned you into a seagull. <laughs> that like, that's the end game. It was like, oh, this was the end game all along. I've turned into a seagull, man. Stella the Seagull. Hmm. You know what? I definitely should uh, note down what this message says. I wonder if there's, like, key phrases that I might be able to block. I'm, I'm going to copy this message and I'm going to paste it into a, a Word document or like a, a text document on my desktop. In fact, I'll name the, the file the text. Oh, damn it. Okay, apparently I can't because the... Here. There we go. We'll see whether or not I can do anything about that later. <laughs> Frankie said I didn't even notice it before you blocked it. Again, getting quick about that. It's getting easier. Ah, uh, Pink's going to head off to bed. Thanks for coming in. It's been fun. It's been relaxing. And a little bit sad. Gwen! <laughs> Alright, and now we're stopped. Time for sleep. Once again, more sleep, more stretch. I definitely get scared of stuff like that when people are like, like, because you know that that account probably was. It would probably was a legit account for a tiny bit of period of time. Like, I, I've heard a lot of cases of people's accounts being hijacked and then turned into bot farms, and then they go off to uh, people's, you know, like to other people's uh, streams, and they're just like, "Hey, you want more followers? Go in here to dip a dip a dip, and then you can get them." Like it's creepy stuff. That's why I have two-factor authentication on my uh, on a lot of my very important accounts. Because hell no, I will not have somebody just hijack stuff and start talking for me. What about the Burger King coupons, though? Burger King can rot in hell! How dare you bring them up! <laughs> oh, this shed is my shed. Villa, I'm going to talk to this per I talked to that person, though. Hopefully you won't work too long on that door. I feel like I have to go back sometime later. Okay. Upgrades. Okay, very well. Got some requests for some people. I know a tool. You want pork chops, but I, 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 I don't know where to find a pig. Find a second sheep and escort. Oh! Herpty shit. <laughs> it just occurred to me. Um... So, how do I get the sheep out of the pen? Can I just go back there and the sheep will automatically be following me by the time I uh, get there? That is definitely something I should uh, I should aim to do. Where's the 
Where's it located on the map? I don't even remember. Mount Tori Blama. There's the villa. Hummingbird. I, I've not been to a lot of these places in a while. Because I'm not sure if there's anything actually to go back to. Ah, here we are. Uh, am I far away from that? Not really. I, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and do the, the whole the whole sh round route. I'll go with that. Morning, Sprout. Hi there. You're hungry. I'm gonna shove food in your gullet. Out of there. You're also hungry. I'm trying to remember what it was I last fed you. Pretty sure it wasn't popcorn. Sticks. I'm sailing away. Shut up. <laughs> Here. You're not hungry, but I will give you hug instead. Get off my ship! Get the hell out of here! Black Griffin says, dang, now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Luckily for me, anything that's made by sticks, like, I, I... Nothing from them really sticks in my head. It, it's funny, because, like, I know Sticks has made a heck of a lot of very noteworthy songs over the years, but that's it's one of those bands that I absolutely completely forget about. Uh, look... It, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of rare that I actually remember the name of the band, but it's like, here. It's like, hey, you remember the band Sticks? I'm like, I don't really recall uh, what kind of songs did they make. And then they say the name of the song, and it's like, oh, holy shit. You know, it's like, I'm sailing away. I'm like, oh, I know them. <laughs> Fuck. To be fair, that's that's with me and a whole lot of other bands as well. I don't know, like, for, for whatever reason, when it comes to music, I don't remember much about, you know, I individual band names. It, but here's one thing that you should know. If I actually do remember your band name, uh, oh, yeah, he's following me. If I actually do remember your band name, then that means that there must be something very impressive about what you did. And in which case, that's something good. Actually, it's either impressive in a good way or a bad way. You know, like, if I remember Kenny G, that's not exactly a good thing. For me personally, it's like, um, yeah, I don't really feel like hearing saxophone solos and stuff. Anyway, sheep boy. Sheep dude. Oh, you brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well, uh, that was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I, I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. Um, no, I've given everybody their own freaking cabins, and the guest room is empty. I've got plenty. Also, I had a Gwen that just decided to jump ship. You want her place? <laughs> For sure, this island is a little bare, but uh, I I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? With pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, oh, oh and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I, I was lost in thought. No, no, you go ahead. I I'll just be fine here. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta build my thing first, and then then she'll actually join. I got it. Have I looked at uh, Sundered or Jotun yet? Oh, I think you dropped those. I think you did give me links to those, or like you told me to look at those before. I forget if I bookmarked those or not. I don't remember. Brain equals zero.
Let's see. Oh, I have enough to make Alice's cottage. Okay. What's the shape of it? Boy, this is a hodgepodge of a lot of buildings, isn't it? Uh, where do you want to go? I wonder if I, um, hmm. Could I slide a whole bunch of stuff, oh, you know, around here? For example. There. The most efficiency out of my setup. That won't work. Let me... Uh, would you fit over here, perhaps? You would. Hello. Okay. That doesn't really save much room, though. Technically, it might. To an extent. Okay, now that I've moved all that stuff. Hmm, okay. And maybe if I move... I was never good at Tetris! Just notice those are games by this developer. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever taken a look at those, no. Maybe I would. Where could I move you? I don't know. That ain't bad, I guess. It's a tiny bit hodgepodge, but I think it works. Yeah, why the heck not? Hey, lady! <laughs> Madam! Wow. You built a house? For me? Oh. Oh, you shouldn't have, really. I, but since it's there, I, well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. <laughs> is that how it works? Build somebody a house is like, mm, yeah, okay. I guess I'll be a space horde or whatever the hell. Oh, I thank you so very much, sweetheart. And they off. We got a new resident. But who could they be? Who could it be? Also... Can I take you sheep with me? Like, for fuck's sake. I, I kind of want to. Hi. You're not hungry. You are, though. <laughs> Screw it. Um, I will feed you. Again, hype juice. <laughs> and let's just see if they follow me onto the boat, eh? Oh, back so soon? I'm always happy to see you, sweetheart. But no, don't let me hold you back from your adventures. Come on, let's go. If you build it, they will come. Apparently. Now, the question is, did the goats... The goat is here! <laughs> and the, the other goat is here, too. Oh, my God. Yes. Goat boys! Little one. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. What kind of animal are you? Are you a sheep? I don't even know. Oh. Oh! Oh, it's like... Are you... Uh, it, it, some kind of a, a rat? I'm, I'm trying to remember. What are you, a hedgehog? I'm trying to remember. What kind of snout is that? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Help me. Animals li leave... Oh. Apparently, Frankie says a possum. Yeah, you look like a possum. An adorable possum. Let me just get, like, a reading from anybody else in the chat, because my... I have a little knowledge of animals, but every now and then there's an animal that I'm like, what were you again? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Anyway, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. Hehe, <laughs> I feel young again. Thank you so much for having me... Well, you found me, young one. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. And I got a no-ball. Thank you. Do you have anything that you need? This is most definitely a possum. <laughs> or a head. Yeah, goddammit. Some people are saying a hedgehog. Damn it. I don't know. I don't know what you are. 
Whatever you are, you're freaking cute. I'm gonna hug you. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Can I upgrade your house? I just realized I, I have not done that. I wonder what kind of instrument everybody else plays. Whoop. What's it going to take to improve this boy? Some aluminum ingots. Great. And some... Oh, yeah, I can make glass, though. Yeah, all right. I could do that. But I, I need wool. Son of a... Where do I get aluminum? It, it, is aluminum... Um, Is that like an alloy? Do you need to, like, combine certain metals in order to make a, aluminum? Or uh, can you find that natural? I, I don't remember my... Oh, you came! It's my own freaking ship. Oh, would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted us to come, uh, come with us, rather. I guess he didn't like his new companion very much, after all. Ah, eh, well, no worry. We'll take good care of you. Oh, but first, all this wool, it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, uh... Oh, no, we're on a boat! It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off the boat. Oh, we can't have that. Oh, go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Shear. Slice the sheep. <laughs> Just look at the face on that sheep. It's like, ah! Oh, now he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, well, this is my life now. Ah! What? <laughs> I tried it a second time. She's like, you can't do that, ma'am. Give it some time. Oh, much better. Oh, well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key, I thought I'd lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. Aw, oh, what a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all that extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. I was such a grump. <laughs> anyway, sheep's wool will grow back very quickly. But uh, only if it's well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy... Oh, fuck that. Is that for real? Oh, no. Oh, I imagine building a sheep corral would help keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible. For the good of your sheep. And that... Oh, I've already made the corral, though. I, I think this game expected me not to preemptively build that crop. Like, you know, the, the corral. Anyway. Hee <laughs> hee. Frankie says the coat doesn't look prickly like a hedgehog, but the body proportions aren't right for a possum. Overall, looks generally more like a hedgehog. I kind of agree, it does look a lot like a hedgehog. <laughs> but again, my, my brain is very confused by this creature. <laughs> All I know is, is it's a mom character, that's it. <laughs> so she very solidly gets the, oh, hey dear, voice. Anyways, um, oh, yeah, right, so now that I have the wool, I should now be able to, question, do, do I have, like, the raw equivalent of it, or do I need to, like, weave it into something? Yeah, I, I need to make the wool into fabric, so hey, I've got myself a loom. One corral and two sheep, better make sure that the other one doesn't get hungry. Or build a corral. Okay, so only one corral per sheep? Okay. Well, I, that can be done. I mean, I usually feed the ever-loving hell out of everything on my uh, on my ship. But, I'm not going to leave that to chance. Sheep corral. Yeah, let's make one. Um, hmm. I don't want to build it, like, right next to... The other one, if I can. You know what? This is a good little alcove to put the kitchen. And let's put these two corrals next to each other. Do 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 do. Check that shit. <clears throat> and I guess that means I can go and shear that other one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, bud. No touch! No touch! 
fucking <laughs> the face. I love the face. And then it's just like, well, this is my life now. Leave me alone. Ah, well, everybody sleeps. I go off and make very loud noises in the loom. Okie dokie. So, linen fiber, linen, linen thread. Let's take the fiber, turn that into thread, and pretty much just, yeah, I think we turn that into a blankie or whatever the hell. Oh, damn it. Been a while. Alright, so now we got the wool thread. Let's... Let's turn that into a blanket. Oh, balls. The speed of these really catch up to you. Dunzo. What? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, hey, look, the constellation. Oh, I, I figured that they would be cheeky and, like, not put them up there. Never mind. Okay. I, I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I need some glass. Right. I can do that with bottles. I've not attempted to try this yet. Should be simple. Oh, man. Glass is a very specific type of material. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Very delicate shit. Little glass orbs. Oh god, that, you know what? That actually reminds me of something. My mom was talking to me earlier. Um, uh, this was, I think this was actually a week ago. She was talking to me about, uh, there are these refrigerators out there now. That, you, you know that, like, most refrigerators have, like, ice makers in them. Um, she mentioned that a lot of new smart refrigerators are trying to push this new type of thing called, like, gourmet ice or whatever the hell. It's, it's basically just an ice maker that you would find in a freezer. The only difference is that instead of making just regular old ice cubes, it makes, like, a gigantic orb of ice. And I'm like, what the hell's the point of that? It's like, I, I guess that's kind of a fancy thing that you can do for whiskey. You know, like, a, a lot of whiskey drinks and stuff like that. You, you can you can make it just a, an orb of ice, and it looks fancier. And I'm like, yeah, but that's probably really dumb and inconvenient. <laughs> She's like, well, hey, I'm not saying that, like, I would ever buy that. That's not a selling point for me in a fridge. I'm just saying it exists. <laughs> so, like, it's dumb it exists. It's like, I know, but still. Round ice. Things melt slowly in drinks, said Black Griffin. Um, maybe. I'll give you that. I still think there's a little bit of a designer thing going on with it, though. So right now I'm currently only playing the game with one hand. You can absolutely do it, but... It can be a tiny bit complicated, because sometimes your, your hand will, like, fall off of uh, the place of your keys, and you'll accidentally press a button that you weren't intending to. All in all, this was this is a game that was pretty much built to be nothing but like a nice, calm, cool, and collected experience. Like one that you didn't need to even think that hard about. I have no idea if I I definitely need more glass bottles though, so I'm this is gonna be my last round.
Cranky says those dispensers on refrigerators are actually terrible for efficiency. Really? I guess I never really thought about that. How so are they uh, bad for efficiency? Are you talking just like electricity wise or, you know, like water dispensary wise? I guess I've never had a refrigerator with that on it because I'm not fancy. <laughs> Not as well insulated as the rest of the fridge, and it drives up electricity costs. Well, shit. That is an interesting factoid. I'll keep that in mind. Like, do you really need your water to be coming directly from the refrigerator? Like, for God's sakes. Like, do, do we all not have sinks? And if you're worried about, oh, well, I mean, tap water just sucks. I, you can get filters that you can strap onto, like, the, the cap of your of your sink and all that jazz. And if that doesn't work, like, uh, I know that you can get pitchers, like Brita pitchers. They're kind of expensive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to pretend like they're not. In fact, I remember uh, when I was off living in the cities. Let me tell you, um, I definitely needed a Brita filter or something very similar in order for me to have, like, decent drinking water. City water sucks. City water is something that you only drink if it is absolutely necessary. Frankie says, if you're good at planning, keep as much stuff in a chest freezer as possible. They're the most efficient way to keep uh, food. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, like, chest freezers, they're a stupidly, um, they're stupidly insulated on the outside, and, like, the, there's a lot of chest freezers that are built like freaking tanks. It actually reminds me of a story. I remember, um, there was this one chest freezer that I remember we used to own. I believe it was a trust, it, it was a chest freezer that was actually, um, given to us by my grandma, I believe? I don't know, like, we owned it for a really long time, and so did my grandma. Um, eventually, she just passed it on to us because she didn't need to keep as much food. We were a growing, bustling family, so she's like, yeah, you need this more than I do. Um, and we absolutely did keep that fridge for a very long... Actually, no, we kept the, the chest freezer for a really long time. And it did come in handy because we were able to save a whole lot of money and we kept a whole lot of food. Um, unfortunately, there was one day when finally that thing did break. And we, we kind of reached... A point where there's no real reason for us to fix it because it's like uh, it would be expensive and it's kind of old look it'd be a pain in the ass it makes more sense for us to just buy one outright and then we put that one on the um uh, we, we put that idea on the side just because we're like uh, maybe one day we'll go and get another one um but instead of our family buying a new chest freezer we just decided to uh, change our lives around it so that we didn't have to worry about collecting as much food as we would. Um, that being said, like, that does mean that you are saving a tiny bit less money. But it was just kind of neat having, like, a gigantic-ass freezer like that. Especially one that is that industrial and that old, too. Because, like, old freezers, old technology in general, last for so long. I kind of wish new technology lasted that long, but, uh, you know, companies got to make their buck. And so, yeah, they, they don't really care that much if they make you spend an arm and a leg every freaking, like, five years for a piece of technology that's going to die in another five. I'm really ranty today. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn you, corporate America! Sure, everybody outside of this uh, this foundry is just like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> You've been in there all night. The flames are bellowing through this place. What is happening? Ah, so chill. 
Speaking of new technology and stuff, though. Oh, Frankie says, um, if saving on the power bill is the highest priority, avoid freezers that have an automatic defrost and do it yourself. Hmm. Well, there's another thing, too. Thank you for the money-saving tips. Now, while we're talking about um, upgrading and stuff, I, I am currently still in the market for getting a new phone. Not because my current phone isn't working, but because the battery on it recently swelled. And that's usually the main indicator that your phone is about to start doing funky things. And, um, truth, that is absolutely happening, because... Oh, little one, would you happen to have anything to eat? I'm somewhat hungry. I have no idea what your diet is. If I had to take a gift, you know what? You seem like the kind that would appreciate something fancy. So let's give you some uh, shellfish. Oh, this smells really strong. Are you even sure this is edible? I don't think I can eat that. The food's definitely an acquired taste. I I'm afraid it's not for a little old me. Okay. Well, I this we we need to we need to discover this. Um, I you know what? Fine dining. Do you enjoy fine dining? Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. All right, you'll tolerate it. What are you eating? Is that a is that a sunflower seed? <laughs> okay. I wonder if maybe she likes grains or something. Here, let's let's feed everybody. Howdy. Absolutely. Let me feed you. Du, 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 du. Have you had this in a while? Oh, you've already had that. Sorry. Okay, then popcorn it is. Be a dear. Something to eat. Absolutely. Coffee! Good lord. Look at the lettuce. All this waiting and all we get is one head of lettuce. Okay, all we have is two leek seeds. I will use them. Why not? Anyway, no, like I was saying, I'm currently in the market to uh, get my hands on some kind of a new head, uh, you know, some kind of a new cell phone. Uh, no, my Samsung S8. I have had it ever since the, the launch of it. Um, for for very good reason, actually. I, I wanted to be as up-to-date as possible when I originally bought it. Oh, we got another fun fact here. Do some research into the heavy metals that will uh, have to be mined to power the world on solar, wind, and batteries. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, very complicated. I know a lot A lot of people just say, why don't we just move over to all clean energy 100%? Uh, th there's a lot of facets that go into that, sadly. Either that or you're saying, oh, hint, it's staggering. Yep. I'm gonna hand you this, because nobody else is gonna eat it. Right, right. I definitely support moving over to clean energy, but um, we definitely need to do it in a, <clears throat> a reasonable and responsible way. Anyway, so... <sighs> more about that whole cell phone situation. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm currently waiting on that. Like, a lot of companies are currently coming out of the gate attempting to advertise their, their new phones and all that jazz. So, I, I'm waiting and I'm looking at all of their announcements for their phones. And I will be making a decision on what I want to have once I finally have a good set of them. Because so far we've had, Samsung has had a press conference where they've announced some pretty good phones themselves. There's zinc ingots? What the fuck? An ash blank. Oh, neat. Cotton. Okay, well, definitely won't be able to do anything with that for a while. I got so much lightning in a bottle. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm waiting until pretty much all the cards are currently dealt on the table for me to make some kind of a decision. I have one idea in mind that I'm still pretty strong about, but I am... I'm holding my tongue, and I'm waiting until I finally have a good idea about what I want. Alright, well, I have been streaming for a while here, and we are kind of at a slow point at the moment, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plant some more linen. Oh, no, that's rice, never mind. Rice. He's nice. And then after that, I think we're gonna end the stream.
this has been fun. I have been appreciating playing, like, you guys coming out and watching me playing Spirit Fair. It's just been a nice chill thing. It's got a heck of a lot of good vibes. Some sad ones. But overall, like, some pretty good vibes. And it's nice to just, like, meet all of these strange characters. All right. Uh, I am off and going. So, thank you very much for coming out to the stream. And thank you very much to, uh, people that did extra support and whatnot. I see that Maple Leaf, Maple Leaf did do some cheering. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Uh, if you want to take a look at this stream after it is done, you can do so once I upload it. Sorry, it usually takes me a while to do that. Um, but you can see a whole bunch of my old other stuff that I posted to the YouTube channel. Uh, take a look at that in the meantime, like, while I procrastinate on uploading, basically. I stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Next Wednesday, I'll be diving back into some more Super Mario Galaxy, because I have actually not played through that entire thing, and I'm giving it a second chance now that it's on the Switch. Garo says I got distracted and I didn't do any homework. Man, you should have. Do your schoolwork. Damn it. Don't let me be a distraction. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. Do your calculus, says Frankie. <laughs> Agreed. Calculus sucks, but you gotta do it. I mean, we currently live in this day and age where you have so many different ways of uh, helping you through homework that I never had as a kid. Especially, I wonder how, um, I wonder how, like, cheating is currently being held when it comes to, you know, like, it, how, how are they stopping cheating when it comes to, like, the social distancing with schools? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> hmm. Big old question mark. I, I don't know. They're probably doing it somewhere. Okay, uh, boy. Again, uh, like, the, the slots for all of the games that I'm currently playing are pretty filled. I would like to maybe clear out uh, doing some specific games, and then I'll open up a slot for doing some more Halloween-themed stuff. Because we're coming up on Halloween month. Uh, in, in fact, my next stream, I believe, is going to be happening next Wednesday, which I believe is October 1st, if I remember right. Okay, let me check. I, I want to make sure I'm not an idiot. Oh, no, it's actually... Oh, it's September 30th, so we're, like, right on the cusp. Okay, alrighty then. The spoop month, it begin. And again, I tend to not get too spoopy, but I, I would like to put some kind of a, an effort into it, just because, hey, tis the season, right? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Again, thanks for coming out. See you next time.